all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <laughs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Do this. All right. The order of the pig's luck is changing. Must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. 
They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Only one way to find out. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. It's the same as the amulet. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? We're in the Temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece.
absolutely incredible. How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. What do you think the colors mean? The different colors represent the different members. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. There are only two lights on that map. If there are only two heroes left, we know what we need to do. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. We might need your help out there. You should come with us. No. You don't need me. This is where I should be. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance of fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. But obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard. Get ready to roll, Axel. We're gonna go find Magnus. Let's do this. Olivia, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra comes back, okay? <sighs> Fine. But I'm only doing this for Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Axel return to the Nether, intent on finding Magnus, the rogue, and find themselves in a kingdom of chaos, full of dangerous people with poor impulse control and some deadly hobbies. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes.